Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. Well, good morning. Welcome back to Shelburne RV. Jen and I are back from uh, Connecticut at the R at the uh, trade show for Land and Sea. So we are back here in the office. Going to be a little bit of a short week this week because we got Thanksgiving coming up here on Thursday. So the boys have been busy while I was gone. You can see that big fifth wheel they're pulling out right there. Um, that one was the one you guys saw us do uh, Schwintech slide out system on oh, a few videos back. Uh, the floor was sagging real bad to remember in the middle. We didn't have no way to fix that So the customer actually uh, Gave us permission to go in there and cut the wall and do a bunch of Bracing in there to fix that. So they've got that all fixed up. You can see the alpha gold made it out of the uh, shop while I was gone uh, I think the only thing they got left to do on it this morning is get the uh, black water valve changed out So they should be working on that later today, but we'll go around and see what all we got going on, but um, I hope everybody has a good thanksgiving holiday so we're gonna get rolling here in just a few minutes get a few videos and then uh, we'll take you around and show you some stuff let's go so this big service trailer that we've got in here for service electric you can see it's a big contractor's trailer uh you saw mr lewis is up there right now cutting a hole in the roof we're actually installing a uh coleman air conditioner in lower assembly along with a heat strip so cousin Gary's working on an old American Eagle and you can see this is the cooling unit that came out of this. This is an old Dometic RM 7030. You can see it's got the freezer bars in the, in the freezer space. So these are a little bit of a pain refrigerator to build. Now this customer lives in this thing full time. So he obviously wants to go with a compressor style unit made by JC Refrigeration. So as you can see, Gary's got it all tore apart in here trying to get this to a point where we can get this cooling unit married back into this. The other project we got in the shop right now is a uh, Prowler bumper pull that has got some uh, major slide room problems. I hadn't even seen it yet because they've been working on it. They started working on it while I was gone to the Land and Sea show. So we're going to go in here and see what's going on with this, this slide room. I'm going to show you kind of what they got going on outside of here right now. All right, so you can see they've got jacks underneath the floor right there on both sides. This does have the refrigerator in the slide. So let's go in here and see what they got going on. They've got all the fascia off the front of this slide, as you can see. And they were telling me that the customer had actually added these rollers. Now you can see it had some rollers from the factory, but the customer had actually come in here and added a set of rollers. And one of these rollers, I guess, was binding up. I don't know exactly what they had going on, but as you can see, they've got a roller added right there. Factory roller, obviously, right there. So they've got it hyper-extended trying to figure out what's going on here. So I'll give you more of an update on this here in a few minutes. So Brandon and James out here working on this little mountain there right here, as you can see. And we've got this HWH jack extended. Cusper brought it in and said it would not retract. So we've got it down, and no matter what we do, we cannot get that to retract. So... We will be changing the cylinder on this one. It's got a problem with the retract. Okay, so Brandon was kind of showing me what was going on with this floor. You can kind of see where it's been damaged right here, but look at this roller. So we're actually gonna pull this floor up. We're gonna undo that. You can see where this one's been bolted from the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get this sandwiched in there and then we're gonna put a nut and bolt and squeeze it. We may have to put a plate in here, maybe underneath to help support that, give it some strength. But yeah, you can see that's getting in there and digging that up. So as you can see, they ended up taking the uh, door bezel completely off of this because that's the only way they could get the refrigerator floor open enough where they could access this roller assembly. Now, these were the only screws that were in there. We actually went in here and nut and bolted it all the way through the floor. And so this thing has got all the support it needs now. So hopefully that won't be doing that again. All right, well, you remember a few weeks ago, this little trans van came in, had some bad roof fixtures. 
You can see Mr. Lewis has got the new fixtures up there. He's got to get them all attached. But as you can see, the lower assembly is going to be a little bit of a challenge because this thing has seen better days in the headliner. But as you can see, there's the mess of the stuff that came off the roof. So it was, uh, it was beyond ready to be changed out. All right, so they've got this slide unhyper extended. He's got all the bolts in there, got the framework back on there. They got the insulation in place. Just got the fascia that they're working on now, getting it put back in place. Uh, got to put the refrigerator back in and should be good. <laughs> Oh, cousin Gary, he's been fighting this uh, refrigerator. Now we had a little bit of an issue. Some of the tubing was bent and we had a heck of a time getting it pulled down in there. But now it looks like he's got everything in. It's probably foam good. So now it's just getting the uh, controls wired back up and you can see he's doing that now. All right, well, cousin Gary's got the Amish cooling unit. Remember this was a uh, ammonia driven unit now we've converted it over to the amish uh 120 volt because this cu customer lives in this thing all the time so he's got all this in there now got everything done on the inside so it's looking good getting ready to ship this out to the customer cousin gary's been working on this little brand new imagine by grand design uh came in a couple a couple weeks ago just not having a chance to look at it but this thing's brand new and it's got refrigerator problems now this one does have the Furion 12 volt refrigerator on it and it's got power to the compressor, but no compressor. So we've been doing some, uh, been doing some Diag on it and have determined that it is a problem with the refrigerator. So brand new, had to see what we can do to get back getting that warranted out. Also been over here, we had another, you saw the other day where we were working on a uh, big trailer. We were adding an air conditioner to and Mr. Lewis got that all finished up. And so they brought that, they came and picked that one up today, but they, they dropped off another one. You can see it right there, big service electric trailer. And uh, so Lewis obviously had to go in there and cut the ceiling on it and get it installed like you saw last time. And then little James has been working on a roof reseal on that little sunset trail right there. Now this prowler that we showed you the other day with the, the slide roller in the bottom of the floor. They've got this all put back together. Um, you can kind of see, uh, it ain't in the picture right there. Um, that piece of linoleum that you guys will install was all kind of messed up. They've actually gone in there and cut it out and glued another piece of linoleum down where that one was at. So they've got that all finished up. So that one's getting real close to being done. Um, one other thing I want to show you over here and then we'll show you this other video. All right, so you can see we got the scale trains fifth wheel sitting up here, and we really haven't talked about what's going on with it. I mean, there was a few little small things with, that we did to it, but uh, the gentleman that owns the camper has actually had some problems with the, uh, he's got a bent axle. And so uh, Grand Design on this one actually used Dexter 5,500 axles for this. And so um, they are planning on doing a big uh, across the United States tour with this uh, fifth wheel next year. And so he really doesn't want to have, you know, he wants to try to be able to do that and see all of his customers and do it without having any problems. So, you know, he brought it to us. We kind of discussed his options. Um, I actually talked to my friends down at Felton's Clutch in Chattanooga. They're the ones that, uh, that do all my Dexter axles. Um, and we kind of decided that, that we really need to go up to a 7,000 pound axle, which would give him, you know, obviously uh, bigger bearings and you know, you know carry a little bit more weight obviously than one of the 5500s he has now so we've actually got him a set of uh, axles 7,000 pound dexters ordered for this now these are six bolt uh the seven pound 7,000 pound are going to eight bolt so he'll obviously have to change the rims um go from six bolt to eight bolt but he'll still have a 16 inch wheel uh but the beauty for that is let's going up to 7,000 pound um, and going to eight bolt wheels is we're going to get away from uh, load range E uh, and we're going to put a set of load range F on here. So, you know, as much traveling as he's going to do and as much trouble as he's kind of had, hopefully that's going to eliminate all those issues and he can go around all these train shows he's got to go do this year. And by the way, if you're into HO trains, 
uh, scale trains is your place to buy all those scale engines i got a few of their engines in there it's a great product so check them out so this is what i got to deal with about 20 minutes before it's time to go home for the weekend you can see my frost free spigot has got a problem so i might put a new spigot on it but obviously this late in the day it's going to be tough to go get one of those so just trying to do a bush fix to get it fixed so i can get through the weekend there's a lot of work right there well i at least got the water stopped for the weekend i'm gonna have to put a new a new frost free spigot in that so that's the way it goes some days well that's gonna finish us up here at shelburne rv appreciate everybody watching hope everybody has a great uh thanksgiving with your families and enjoy eating lots of turkey and pumpkin pie and we'll see you guys back next week and remember this video is cousin gary approved take care <laughs>